I think for sure she'll want to retire on her own terms. And there's people who have been talking for years, probably a decade, about maybe a retirement. But the game has changed so much. But I think what's a little bit different for Yastremska is that she hits a flatter ball. And that might make it a little bit more difficult for her today. Yes, for another for some players, maybe it doesn't. Oh, great yeah. footwork around the ball there as well. To get her out of trouble. Oh, she's found the line. Uh, the wind has just picked up a little bit as well, which is another reason perhaps why we're seeing these moon balls from Venus Williams slow it down. That a little short from being point and not as many unforced errors. Oh, sumptuous from Yastremska. I, I think it's been here to Yastremska with new balls. Oh. Well, she doesn't win the point anyway. <laughs> Oh, okay, well, this yeah, time it's Jastremska. People pretty humble. Game winners. Good length from Venus Williams. Williams, and overall, that's a great set. Many great quality. She just changed Jastremska's, uh, I guess, strike pattern because there was no pace on the ball and. Jastramska. That isn't the case. Just a bit painful. Oh, well, there was nothing wrong with that base. Wonderful. Oh, well, just... Oh, and again. Oh, finally comes through the game. It was an epic game. That's why I'm forcing, because I'm carrying an injury. long it seems oh, she found the line again meant to be a conversation they're not meant to stop and talk which is why ankle that's already been taped the left foot and it has to be an aggravation mm -hmm. to be able to get another injury timeout
interpretation of the rules is exceptional. Well, I, I don't know whether I'm completely right on that, but that was what... Well, that was tennis played at full throttle from Diana Yastremska as she does indeed level the match. We are going the distance. So the weapons to really hurt when that happens. On. Good patience, waited for the right ball. That's a stunner of a return from Yastremska. Went for it, but hasn't made it. Wants to challenge, but has missed. Sasha Bayan confirming. Yeah, yeah, it's coming. Clearly felt good because she was all ready to celebrate. There is the break. Oh, it's a ripper. Decided to go for it. Might not have been the shot to pull the trigger. Just wild yeah, from yeah, Venus yeah. Williams. 15. Well, she started the last time. With oh. It's one of the rallies of the match, and it really could have gone either way. Bit of time. You'd lose a point. And that was why she took her time. Just composed herself, got the oxygen in the lungs. Venus Williams is just asked to see whether the... Game. It's Diana Yastremska who battled through to round two. A look of relief from the Ukrainian. It's a match that has taken a lot out of her, hence the limp. And uh, well, she had a lot of pain throughout with the blisters, with the ankle injury, with the opponent. And what Venus Williams made her do to come through. But come through, the 16th seed does. Recovers from a set down to win 5-7, 6-2, And that is an excellent effort from the 20 year old well it really is and she went after that match she played aggressive throughout and despite the disappointment that was really impressive losing that first set whenever really you felt that she was on top of the set full stop she lost the set but she 
regain composure very, very quickly. Opportunity to step up and dictate play. And she did that really well. But Diana, you can hear from the Diana. Net from the legendary Venus Williams, was that, did that have something to do with how difficult this match was for you today? Um, yeah, I'm very excited that I won. Uh, it's, it's really difficult to explain now everything what I feel. And I'm very happy and at the same time I'm very sad because um, I really had a good opportunity in the first set. But I don't know, somehow during the point I twisted my ankle. And um, after that I started to have a lot of pain and my mind just was focusing on the pain, the first set. But uh, after that I took the time out and the second set I... When I lost the first game I really wanted to wide draw because I felt like very bad. But something inside told me that you have to fight sure. during the pain, during everything, and I really wanted to finish that match. Like I really wanted to win it. You dug down deep. How special does it mean to you to win a match like this at such an important time where we're all coming back to seeing tennis again? Uh, well, yes. Um, I played already with Serena, so I always wanted to play with them both. And I'm very, when I saw the draw, I was like, well, I got the opportunity. I really wanted to play with her. And I'm happy that I won. Uh, she's really, she's a legend. So, you know, it's always so cool to play against great players like them. And it's a huge experience for me today. Next up, you're taking on Bernardo Pera. You've played a couple times, both three setters. You've each won one of those. What do you have to do to make sure that you can come out the victor in that next round? Well, first of all, I really need to recover. I need to recover because I really do feel pain in my leg. and. Uh, we had a lot of time to to improve during the all the situation that we have because of COVID. We had a lot of time to improve ourselves. So I think she really played well now, and uh, I'm just gonna try to focus on myself. And the most important is that it depends how I'm gonna feel. Well, best of luck to you, and uh, through to the next round. Thank Diana, yes, Thank you. Yeah, fascinating in interview. Very interesting to hear just how much pain she was in, and of course with the U.S. Open just. Well, almost a week away. That's something she will have to watch very, very closely. We heard 